All right, all right, all right. Today we're le reaching new levels of stupid. I put Shaq on every single team he ever played on. He's on the Suns, the Cavaliers, the Celtics, the Heat, the Lakers, as he's the second best player on this team after 37-year-old LeBron, and the Magic. Except, obviously, in the modern day, as you can see, Paolo, Kevin Durant, Donovan Mitchell, and Jason Tatum, Jimmy Butler, so on and so forth. We're at the beginning of the 2022-23 season, we're going to see how this changes things. Cool? Great? I don't know. This is some idea that spawned in my mind. Also, I got an album that just dropped. It's called Hourglass. It's out now. Link's in the description. It's on all your favorite stuff, Spotify, uh, Apple, yeah, everywhere. Well, maybe not just drop, but whatever. Luka Doncic wins MVP, Ben Simmons, six men. Shaq wins DPOY, the one that's from the Cavs. Oh, and by the way, if you couldn't tell, it's the same exact Shaq on every single team. It's the all-time version of Shaq, except he's now 20 years old. He's on the All-NBA first team with the Heat, the second team with the Cavs, and the third team is Jokic. Those same two versions are also both on the uh, defensive teams. Every single one of the teams firmly made the playoffs, except for the Magic. The Magic are in the play-in game of the eighth seed. Shaq on the Magic averaged 27 and 15. On the Suns, tw I, I have injuries on. That was not intentional. Oh, who cares? Cavs, 28 and 15. Uh, I'm going to remove this broken left leg from the Celtics one. They basically all average the exact same numbers. Make sure you're moving every single player's injuries. There you go. All right, before we go any further, I want to shout out to Prize Picks. Prize Picks is the best place to play daily fantasy sports. It's available in over 30 states. If you use the code CLICK, you get 100% back and up to $100 in your first deposit. All right, Spencer Dinwiddie back in Brooklyn. I'm going to say that he can score 20 points. I'm going to say Porzingis does not get 26. That's a lot. I see the high scoring numbers recently, but playing Miles Turner, you know, Mark. Kel Fultz playing Miami. He's not being guarded by Bam or Jimmy, I'd assume, obviously. I think 14 points, 13 and a half is very doable. I'll take more. Play Thompson. I'm sorry, buddy, but 27 points, 26 and a half. I'm going to go with less than that. I see. I always like to throw a little steal or turnover one in there. I think Evan Mobley get a steal against Chicago. Look at this. You put $20 down. If you get five credit, you get 10 times the amount of money you put in, $200, and so on and so forth. Thank you to Prize Picks for this video. Remember to use code CLICK. Get up to 100% back and up to $100 of your first deposit. Click the link in the description. Now to get back into the video. Feels like every one of these becomes damage control. All right, first round. Actually, the Magic made the playoffs for the seventh seed. None of them are matched up in the first round, so screw the first round. Actually, the Heat and Magic were. I just realized that. It was a one-point loss in game five for the uh, Orlando Shaq. I mean, Orlando's very inferior compared to most of these teams, so yeah, who cares? Heat and Cavaliers playing in the second round. They got Bam at the four, guarding Evan Mobley. Screw the second round, though. And while the Cavs lost in six games, every other team has made it out, so the entire conference finals is filled with Shaq. And the Celtics just eliminated the Heat in game five. Jason Tatum and Shaq head to the finals. Lakers and Suns will head to a game seven. And it's a one, a three point, one possession game with 125 left. Vanderbilt passing in the basketball. It'll make its way to D'Angelo Russell. Hands it over to Anthony Davis. AD over to LeBron. AD's at the four and, and he's actually guarding Shaq and Shaq's guarding Aiden. Oh, LeBron pulls up. Awful shot. But Shaq with the rebound. He swims around Aiden and dunks it down. Lakers Shaq, that is. Devin Booker back up the other way. Only up by one point. With 110 left to go. Devin Booker goes right. The pass down to Chris Paul in the post. Chris Paul fades away. He pump fakes the fade away. He stops. He goes into the post. He takes a layup and it's good. LeBron out at the three point line. Screen on the left. Screen on the left from uh, what's his name? Shaq. Pass down to Shaq. Shaq layup is good right around DeAndre, showing the agility that most people underrate. Mr. O'Neal. LeBron, you know, passing to him doesn't hurt either. And then on the other end, you got Chris Paul working with the other Shaq. They're also both running big man, less shooter lineups, which is pretty funny to see. And Chris Paul passed down to Aiden, stolen by Russell. 31 seconds left. Awful pass by Paul. And the pass over to LeBron. He steps in to a shot and that is all. Rebound by Shaq and he hands it off very quickly to Chris Paul to get fouled instead of himself, which is pretty funny. He dodges a bullet and Chris Paul greens the first. Chris Paul at the line, the second is also green. The pass down to the post. LeBron James bodying Kevin Durant and I forgot KD was even on the floor or on the in the, in the team. Oh dang, he missed the second free throw. KD gets fouled. That's probably game over. Oh, never mind. He missed the free throw too. KD hits one out of two. There's no timeouts left. The Lakers do have a chance to tie it. They're only down by three. They got Jared Vanderbilt in the game along with why do they have this lineup out austin reeves is gonna pull the shot and he misses but the rebound and put back by shaq to give him another chance oh i don't know what just happened but wait did jared vanderbilt just take that shot why would d'angelo russell pass this ball to the wing to jared vanderbilt for the three why is troy brown jr in the game i don't know d'angelo just pass the brown to take the shot yourself look at this man jared vanderbilt's three-point shot oh it's a 77 he wasn't even shooting threes last year what where did this come from okay well that's not terrible but yeah still don't prefer it all right so the suns advance to the finals we've got shaq versus versus Shaq and the Celtics versus the Suns. KD versus Tatum, you know, Devin Booker versus Jalen Brown. First game's gonna be an easy win by the Celtics. Second game to the Celtics. Third game to the Suns. Fourth game to the Suns. A close fifth game to the Suns. I meant sixth. 
whatever. Was it? Wait, I don't even know. No, I, I meant fifth. I don't know what I'm talking about. And the Celtics looking to tie it up three to three. They're up by two at 125 left. But if they lose, well, there you go. See you at home. How's it going? Why Shaq is wearing 41. Pass down to Shaq. Shaq to KD. Nice little dump off pass. Tied game. They're trying to fight for a championship. Tatum goes left. He stops. Pass it down in the steal by Shaq on the other Shaq's entry pass. Pass up to Durant. Durant number 35 pulls up. Close shot is good. 108 left. Shaq is going to take a tough around the rim shot and he ties it up. Darius Baisley is in here and Shaq isn't even in the game for the Celtics. I don't know what's going on, but you never know anymore. Durant to the basket. Oh my God. Never mind. I guess I do know what's going on. Robert Williams just pinned that man's shot to the ground. 35 seconds left to pass down to Nilo Gallinari. He gets pinned by KD or Shaq or both. They're passing to Jason Tatum. Tatum as he step back next to the basket back out to Gallinari 26 seconds left screen by Robert Williams Danilo pulls the shot and he misses it but the rebound by Tatum back out to Brown Brown the screen by Gallinari on the right side eight seconds left from the shot clock he goes to the basket layup blocked but foul Boston with a one-point lead they call a time they tried to ice Jalen Brown call the timeout on him mid free throws Darius Baisley the pass into Chris Paul down by two points they're taking their good time though Paul he passes over to Baisley for the game winner and it is off that oh Shaq with the rebound did he get it all he missed he missed anyways and they have tied up the series three to three they will go to game seven game seven in boston and the boston celtics are up by three points three points three points three points with 153 153 153 153 left just over just under two minutes jason tatum the screens tatum's gonna get a screen by shaq on the right side you currently see it coming from a mile away tatum goes right around the screen to the basket he passes down to shaq against the other shaq he hits the layup chris paul the spin steps back Paul the screen by his own shaq paul to the right Paul, he pumped, he pulls up and it is off. Rebound by Sun Shack. Layup and one over the other Shack. Tatum steps back, goes right between the legs to the left. Tatum crossover to the basket all the way. Pump fake, pulls up the shot, misses, but the rebound by Robert Williams. And they subbed out Shaq yet again, but Robert Williams is playing like prime Shaq. CP3 pulls up, fadeaway three. It is way off. KD fights for the rebound, but loses it to Williams. The Celtics are looking like they're going to run away with this championship with no Shaq on the floor right now, at least. Tatum back out Marcus Smart for three it is off rebound oh my Robert almost got that another one right there Shaq corner Kevin Kevin pulls up contested he misses rebound by Horford and that should do it the pass into Chris Paul Paul crosses over 24 seconds left wait I just realized the game's over I don't know I'm commentating like this it's over it doesn't matter it Paul it doesn't it doesn't matter Chris Paul another awful shot let me let me get out of here yeah let me get out of here Tatum at 38 Booker at 24 and the Celtics are your NBA champions first season Jason Tatum Tatum still won finals MVP over Shaq. He did average more points than Shaq in the playoffs and obviously more assists. Also, every Shaq is on a five-year, six-year minimum deal, and that's intentional. I didn't want to act like he's going to obstruct any of the teams in any way. You know what I'm saying? He's making a minimum contract. No excuses, buddy. Be good. That's to, that's my, uh, what's it called? To the, all the teams. That's my memo to all the teams. But actually, wait, wait. Let me see the All-Star game real quick. Shaq, captain. Shaq, first pick. Shaq, second pick. Shaq, third pick. And there's a Shaq off the bench with the other Shaq. The All-Star game is Shaq, Shaq, and Shaq versus Shaq and Shaq. John ja Morant, MVP, Victor, Rookie of the Year, Jordan Poole, Shaq, DPOY. There you go on Miami. Miami, Shaq, first team. Jokic, second team. And Lakers, Shaq, third team. Did they all make the playoff? They most certainly did. Every single last one. If anything, I think the lowest seeded one is Miami, who had the Shaq that won DPOY. The Magic came up this season. They got 59 wins. Shout out to Franz Wagner. First round. Oh, I didn't even realize I was simulating the whole thing. A couple of them played in the second round. Phoenix and the Lakers were match and the Lakers beat Phoenix this time around and the Celtics going to defeat Orlando and the Heat defeat the Cavaliers. The Timberwolves are going to be a non shack team that makes it to the conference finals. To be fair, he's only been on two Western Conference teams. The Lakers got swept by, wait, did, did oh no, LeBron didn't retire. They just suck. The Lakers got swept by the Timberwolves and the Celtics going to go back to the finals looking to repeat Jason Tatum as the finals MVP again. Shaq versus Jalen Duren. With Towns still at the four, but Rudy Gobert is not even there. Where is Rudy Gobert? How did they possibly trade Rudy Gobert? Oh, no, he's just on the bench. Let's be honest, though. The Celtics should run through this team. They're going to sweep 4-0, and Jason Tatum wins finals MVP for the second year in a row. LeBron has decided to take a second win and not retire because of how good Shaq is, so he still hasn't. Shaq of the Celtics wins MVP, even though Tatum stole all of his finals MVPs, and Shaq of the Suns won DPOY. Third, first, and second team is all Shaqs, the second one being on Orlando. You know what? Actually, no, I feel like I did a video where I changed like the Shaq's name to just steal your meal and screw it. All right, here we go. On the Heat, we've got Sean O'Neal. On the Lakers, Shannon O'Neal. On the Magic, David J. Shackman O'Neal. On the 
Suns, Yak O'Neal. O'Neal. That's that's the full name. That's not even a typo. The Cavaliers, Taco O'Neal. And the Celtics, Ooh, O'Neal. The Suns just barely made the play-in game. I don't know what happened there. And they lost in the first round. I think every other team is at least here and made it to the second round except for them. They lost Chris Paul. He retired. I, I think I literally saw him retired. I just didn't pay attention. But I mean, you still have Kevin Durant and Devin Booker. The Heat eliminated by the Celtics and the Magic eliminated by the Cavaliers in, in seven games, though. You know, solid fight. They only lost by four points. Taco O'Neal able to beat uh, David, David, what's his name? David J. Shackman. Yeah. And the Lakers make to the finals this year they are going to do exactly that they're up 3-0 come on now don't fail me they did it cavaliers and lakers finals evan mobley versus ad lebron still in the how old is lebron he is 40 94 overall he is way down from what he originally was ad is also a 94 though they've also got spencer dimwitty the backcourt insane disparity but after that i mean it's it's not even but whatever the Cavs are actually better three to one lead for the cavaliers okay three to two and they are gonna smoke them in game six taco o'neal finals mvp MVP. He actually got a finals MVP now. The Shacks have won every single year so far. We are three years in and LeBron has given it up. So has Gordon Hayward. You ever question what decisions led into your life where you were sitting watching a 2K channel about a virtual multiplication of Shaquille O'Neal's on a basketball floor? Not even the aliens could figure out how to do this. LaMelo Ball wins MVP. Trey Johnson, Rookie of the Year. He meant, oh my, oh, Neal, DPOY. Oh, Neal, all NBA first team shannon o'neill on the second team and yak yo neil o'neill nba third team sounds like the end of the kendrick album yeah it's, 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 uh, 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 i got i got oh man cavaliers win lakers lost to the suns anthony edwards mvp darius garland mvp and the suns lost to the timberwolves yak yak yabadu o'neill lost to anthony edwards but the cavaliers won taco o'neill still has a chance to beat Nas reed in the in the great timberwolves team that we all love and admire and they win 4-1 darius garland yeah jungle beats how at me do you ever think of who created the idea for cartoons and don't give me the answer just ponder the thought imagine going from live action plays and then one day some guy just walks into walt's office and he's like hey you know i've got this idea this mouse he's gonna run around his name will be mickey i mean to be fair mickey mouse was actually like evil back in the day but you know maybe that was really why so is, is that really why cartoons exist victor sean o'neill the magic are in the finals they've beat the cavaliers in a uh seven game series we've got david j shackman o'neill in the finals against the thunder playing in chet holmgren shay and josh giddy he's got lonzo on the team so that's yeah wait would this be the first championship but Shaq didn't win yeah 1000 percent. it's only been five years well, they're down three two right now or he they them 31 18 two and two from uh whatever the hell his name is to win game six and holy hell he just annihilated them in oklahoma city and um hollow had 40 and uh david j shackman o'neill at 21 11 i keep on having to click on him just to find his name 24 and 14 from the win finals mvp they've won every single championship so far kevin durant has now retired well this is the last year of their contracts all of them uh, 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 uh. wake up mr wesley i'm talking to you victor averaged 40 points this season. did he not average oh i mean he averaged 29 last season but yeah i think 39 and 16 is pretty good sean o'neill averaged 30 and 17 Ooh, neil average got on the second team and Sean is on the third. You know what? I forgot to turn off the rule changes again. I was about to just not say it. They decreased the shot clock to 20 seconds. That's why all these players averaged so many points. Ooh, O'Neal averaged 36 and he didn't even get an award for nothing. We got David J. Shackman O'Neal versus Taco O'Neal. What a time to be alive. And the Magic just blew a 3-1 lead to the Cavaliers. So Taco O'Neal is a real champion. He's gonna have to hold off the Thunder yet again. Oh, he's holding them off all right. 4-0 sweep. Darius Garland, finals MVP. Whether or not it was actually because of the Shacks or if he was just a you know portion of the reason why these teams are winning the championships and all these different teams the cavaliers won one three rings celtics won got two the heat won nothing the lakers won nothing the magic got a ring even and the suns held no so yeah that's it that's what happens you put all these shacks in the nba hopefully i just answered a question that you never wanted answered and actually probably ruined your life it's been real it's been fun but it's been real fun let's gain no subscribers in this video Cut.